it's all over. The fans on their feet in sheer rapture as their idols celebrate victory here in this final. A superb performance. And they look like they're enjoying this. And I think they'll soak this up for some time, and who can blame them? There's the glittering prize, no doubt they deserve it. It's been an arduous tournament and they've risen to the top. Wonderful scenes. And after such a draining cup final, they somehow find the energy to do a lap of honour. Great pictures. Off they go then. Always a moment the fans wait for at the end of a big final like this. Not every day a player wins a tournament of this magnitude. They look overwhelmed, some of them. There's the trophy. What a moment for these players. The piece of silverware they've worked so hard for. And I don't think they'll be putting it down any time. And they are now the champions of Europe 2004. What a climax, Alex. I enjoyed that one, Ali. I know you did. And this tournament really comes to a fitting climax here in Lisbon. Euro 2004, a great success. taken on the best and beaten them all again and once more Spain are the best team in Europe and what a contrast Clive I've been a winner and a loser in cup finals and no two feelings could be further apart when you win you know you just don't know what to do with yourself you can't believe you have won but this Spanish team have got over the line they are champions and they deserve it they came to these finals believing they could retain their title both teams thought they could win it no consolation for the losers, only handshakes and thoughts of what might have been. But for the winners, moments they will treasure for the rest of their lives. 
the pinnacle of some great careers. Kiev will always be special to them. This is where Spain once again lift the Henri de Lorne trophy. You know, and now you have to try and just soak up these moments and remember them. Share them with your fans and your teammates. The photographs, all the television pictures, they're so great to look back on. And it's this that's going to make this special feeling amongst these Spanish players. And what a feeling. And that's that. Portugal have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. Portugal have won the cup and the time has come to collect it. It is party time. Italy celebrate. They are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory, another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history. brings it to a close. Italy are the conquerors of Europe, winners of the final in a European Championship that has truly delivered, and this is an honour which is truly deserved. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment. Control. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, England! 
What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.